don't do it. You're going to burn it up. Just burn it and sizzle it and just destroy it. What is up, Trust Troop? It is Trust to Impress, and I am Big D B A C K back with another video. In today's video, I am going to share with you guys how I got these cute, shiny, voluminous, luminous, all of the things, girl, these curls. I'm going to show you how I got these curls using my flat iron. So if you are interested in seeing how I styled this gorgeous hairstyle, then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share out this video. So I am not sure what my timeline is looking like virtually for my straight hair, but I am going to update you guys on real life. So in real life, I did my roller set two weeks ago and I flat ironed my hair on 400 one week ago just to trim and dust my ends. So if you have not watched the video of me roller setting my hair, then make sure you check out that video. If you have not seen the video of me trimming my ends for the very first time since my cut, then make sure you check out that video as well. Hopefully that will be uploaded before this one. And then right now, I am going to show you how I put body back into my hair with the flat irons because I missed the curl. So once again, my hair has been straight for two weeks, y'all. And in those two weeks, I have not worked out. I have not sweated and I'm ashamed, okay? I'm not ashamed. I ain't ashamed. All right, so first off, I have my flat irons here. These are, these are the Ion One Stroke Flat Irons. I'm not going to tell you that it's the best flat iron I've ever used because it's really not. But you know, it gets the job done. What I do like about this flat iron is that it has the temperature settings on it. I prefer the ones where you can go in between these intervals. This one has set intervals and I have my flat iron on 400 right now. Now, when I'm flat ironing from a blowout, I use my flat irons on 450. I prefer 425, but this flat iron does not have a 425 setting. So I do use it on 450, but whenever my hair is like already straight and I'm trying to curl it or add body or just give it a new style, I use 400. Anything below 400 on my hair does nothing. All right, so we're gonna start the back. So everybody pretty much, I hope, knows how to flat iron your hair. I just wanted to share with you the process and let you guys see how mine comes out. My hair is short in the back, but y'all, I can already tell it's growing out. And it's a little bit frizzy at the root, but I'm not really concerned with that simply because we are going for a voluminous style. So that's all good. No problem. Now I'm just going to make sure my hair is fully detangled with, oh, you know what, sis? What I didn't do was add my heat protectant. So I'm using the Tresemme heat protectant. And y'all, recently I was watching Style by Jordan. And this is the heat protectant that he uses on um, natural hair as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. If you've never watched Slave by Jordan, you need to check out his YouTube, y'all. He is the GOAT when it comes to the, um, oh, I just tasted it. He is the GOAT when it comes to wigs. So, I'm actually planning to use, you have to kind of let this dry because it's wet. I'm actually planning to use some of his tutorials to try to do some wigs and see how it comes out because he makes it look so easy. But I mean, he's a professional, so I know he's gonna make it look easy. Um, but you know what, check him out, check him out, check him out. If you have a blow dryer on a cool setting, it will be good to go through your hair really quickly with that. Just to make sure that this uh, heat protectant is dry. It is a liquid. Um, and it does say on the bottle that it protects up to 450. That is the type of heat protectant you want. Ladies and gentlemen, you need something that tells you on the bottle what temperature, you know, that company promises to protect up to get. Something that just says, you know, heat styling serum or, you know, 
provides protection against heat. I don't trust it. I need for it to say protects up to blank degrees, okay? So now let's go back to where we were. My hair is pretty dry. You never want to flat iron your hair with the heat protection still wet. So if you are a beginner, I suggest that you use um, an oil-based serum rather than a liquid because if you don't use it properly, you are going to sizzle and burn your little hairs out. So I have my flat iron on 400. This one heats up in like 30 seconds or 60 seconds. So it's definitely hot. And remember, I'm going for body, so I'm going to be curling the hair. Voila. I do have other videos on curling hair, so I'll try to link those in the description box below for you guys to really get the technique down um, because it's a lot easier to learn, it's a lot easier to teach, and it's a lot easier to actually do it on longer hair. So I do have videos where I'm teaching this process on long hair. All right, so basically, I clamp my flat irons close to my scalp, and then I twist, take your time, and then after I do one full rotation, I just pull the flat iron straight out from there, and boom, you have a nice, tight, cute little curl. I really do understand the pains of short hair hair now and it's not just short hair it's having your hair shorter in the back is so difficult oh my goodness why is it so hard And I'm right-handed, so it's difficult to maneuver my right side, but I just make it work. And take your time, you guys. If you have your curlers on the right temperature, you don't have to worry about making it a quick pass. Take your time and do it right so that the hair can curl the first time and you don't have to go back and recurl and recurl and recurl. Now you can add your heat protection as you go through each section, but the process is going to take a lot longer simply because you're going to have to wait. If you're using a liquid, you're going to have to wait for that heat protection to dry before you put your heat on there. And y'all, I have not been taking care of my hair like I'm supposed to. I have not been wrapping it at night. I've literally just been sleeping on a satin pillow. So it's looking crazy, but at the same time, to say that, it looks really, really good. I didn't get the ends of that. It does still look really, really good to say that I'm, I know I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's been two weeks. But that is one of the benefits, you guys, of doing the roller set. Let me break it down for you. When you are natural and you're exposed, because I actually walked in the rain more than one day without something on my head since I straightened my hair out. So when you are natural and you are exposed to moisture, sweat, humidity, whatever it is, your hair is immediately going to revert back to the state in which you dry it. So if you like to um, straighten your hair after a braid out, or straighten your hair after air drying it, your hair is going to revert back to frizzy so much faster than if you blow dry your hair. If you dry your hair into the straightened state, it will stay straight longer. 
putting y'all up on game. So by me drying my hair on the rollers, straightening my hair out, that helps it to stay straight longer. So this is my second time putting direct heat on my hair since the initial roller set and the roller set was two weeks ago. Yep, yep, yep. So it's looking pretty good, girls. It's looking pretty good. And I have these long nails on, y'all. So I'm just using my nails to part. Super easy. All right, so from here, I'm just going to relax and continue doing my hair. And I'm going to let you guys watch unless I think of any more tips that I need to share with you guys. All right, folks, now I'm just taking the hair around my hands and pin curling it up. That is going to prevent my curls from dropping before I can finish. And this is very simple. All you do is take a section of the hair and very gently wrap it around your fingers. and then clip it. Also, when you have short hair, these Velcro rollers work really well. So if you have those, you can use those. Um, I don't have enough for my whole head, so I'm only going to use them at the front.
All right, now when I get to the top section of my hair, because of the way that I want my hair to lie, I want it to go up with volume and then I want it to curl outward and away from my face. So I need to hot curl it with that in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to comb this hair straight up to the top. And I'm going to put my flat irons on my hair. And I'm going to pull out away from my head to curl this. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Next section. Same thing, just making sure that I curl away from my face. and bouncy. I'm going to let those cool just a little bit before I pin curl. All This is the hairspray that I'm going to be using. I got it from, for the Lolo from Marshalls. It is the Chi Keratin Flex Finish Hairspray. So by spraying this on your hair, it has a light hold to it. It's a flexible hold. But for everyone who is always asking me, what is your key to making your straight hair humidity proof? I feel like women of color, you know, 
we try to stray away from hairspray. Um, it has alcohol. It dries your hair out. This probably has alcohol. First ingredient is alcohol. But I only put one layer on my hair and I'm only using it one time. You only have to use it when you first straighten your hair. And that puts a protective layer over your hair. Actually, I may do one more thin layer after I take the rollers out because this did not touch a lot of my hair. Um, but once you take your rollers out, do a nice quick spray, quick even spray. If you use too much, it's going to be wet and revert your hair. So you want to make it a quick even layer and that puts a seal on the outside of each one of your strands. That's also why you do not want to flat iron on top of hairspray. Never put a heat styling tool on top of hairspray. Don't do it. You're going to burn it up. Just burn it and sizzle it and just destroy it. You put hairspray in your hair, you have to wash it. Period. All right, now that I'm done ranting on that, let's go ahead and take these pin curls down and see what this hair is looking like. And then finally, this is a Tresemme Smooth Dry Oil Spray that I'm going to I'm going to add that on top for shine. It is oil, but it's dry. Dry oil. So, here's the finished look. Oh, edges. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Don't forget to like, give this video a big thumbs up, leave me some comments down below and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.